Good evening, welcome to the University of Worcester Arena MBL Division 2 action for you tonight. The hometown Worcester Wolves taking on the visiting Bristol Hurricanes. And uh, it's going to be an intriguing matchup tonight. These two teams sitting third and fourth in the league right now, both on uh, 18 points apiece. So they are fighting for that third position tonight. If Wolves can take the win, then they will find themselves above Bristol in the table. Bristol coming in with a 9-3 record, also a 9-4 record, both winning three from the last five. So it is set up for some real fireworks here in the arena, and it is a packed arena here in Worcester tonight. I'm joined once again by my good friend, Reese Williams. Reese, pick the bones out of this one for us briefly before we get underway. Absolutely. Like you said, it's third versus fourth, and uh, both teams coming into this one with victories. Wolves beating the Warriors 90-77 and the Hurricanes last game against the Bristol Academy Flyers 81 to 75. Big games for Daniel Adozi and Lucas McGregor respectively so going into this one those seem to be the guys on form at the moment. If you sort of look into this sort of picking the numbers uh, you know throughout the division at the moment the Wolves coming in nine wins four losses uh, at the moment sort of second worst in terms of uh, points scored in the league however the defensive record speaks for itself the second best defence in the league in terms of points against, and that's 839, only beat by the Bristol yeah. Hurricanes, the best defence in the league. Um, and in terms of the offensive side, again, not too strong of a scoring team, more building from their defence and keeping teams sort of smothered. So I think it's going to be a fantastic game, a fascinating game of, of two sides that are just really wanting to get their, their, you know, the first, uh, the first of the, these two teams to get to 10 wins this season. Yeah, and let's not forget, you know, there's a lot of lot of talent on this uh, this Bristol roster. Oh. You know, let's pick out two names. Yep. Moyan Dombe and uh, Daniel Adozi. Yeah. I mean, you know, they don't come more experience than that, do they? No, not at all. I think you, when you've got the experience like you do, I mean, especially Daniel Adozi, you, you know, used to captaining a, a, Brit, you know, a British basketball league side in the Bristol Flyers. So, um, you know, in terms of what they will bring, you know, cool, level heads, something that the Worcester Wolves don't necessarily have. They're a, a very young team with... You know, they, they do have their experience, but not as much as this Bristol team. So uh, it's going to be definitely interesting to see how that plays into effect. Uh, will the veterans come into play massively or whether the young stars are going to be the ones taking the victory? Let's not forget Daniel Dozier, of course, leading the league, uh, you know, <coughs> in score, in, um, in points, 22.4 yep. a game. But is also leading the league in, uh, in, in boards as well. Yeah, I mean, when you average almost 20 for each stat, well... 20, 22, 22.4 and 19 rebounds a game. I mean, you're, you're, you're an absolute star. And um, to, to dominate like he has, especially with the experience he has as well, um, you know, he's going to be probably the one to watch in this game. Well, we'll just quick run down those rosters. Gabriel Atachana, Stephen Four, Panos, Mayan Dombe, as we said, Bruce, Ajay Samuel Sanders, Ashley Pierce, Mark James, Casey Smith, Andrew Hamilton, Daniel Adozi, the captain, of course, Reese Farrell and Karim Tadros mm -hmm. tonight suited up for Bristol and they're led by their coach, Kestutis uh, Trakelis and assistant coach George Varney just as they return to the benches. Jacob Dim and Baltianu, Isaiah Walker, Lucas McGregor and Rodriguez are going to be starting tonight for uh, the Worcester Wolves. James Turner, Panelis Calavas, Wilfred Sante, Malachi Peterson. Arian Davudi, Barker and Ferreira coming off the bench for Worcester tonight. And uh, no surprises really in that, uh, in that starting five. Not at all. I mean, when you've had a, a game against the Warriors like Lucas McGregor did and, and Matai uh, Baltianu, uh, 26 points and eight rebounds for Lucas McGregor, uh, 23, five and five for the big man. Um, it's, it's definitely not a, a surprise whatsoever. Um, yeah, they, they, they're going to need points. To, to break down this really, really well, uh, well you know, sort of trained uh, and disciplined hurricane side. And you made a point, didn't you, about Bristol? You know, yep. they are a defensive powerhouse, really. Absolutely. So, you know, coming into this game, you're looking mm -hmm. at that. If you're, uh, you know, if you're guiding that that Wolves team, what are you saying to them coming in? What do you think that organisation is going to be? Um, stay away from Daniel Adozi. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot outside. I mean, we, we've seen games this season where the Wolves have opted for that three-point shot and it may be not have worked for them as much. Um, but in, in practice, in the lead up to this, they would have picked out those key areas. Stay out of the paint, and if you can, maybe work it towards, and maybe even you know, sort of spread the floor, get a dozy, and uh, even Farrell out of those areas, 
uh, so that they can't stop them. It's a great matchup. So I think the Baltiano Adozi show is going to be pretty interesting tonight because of Baltiano. Yeah. Always a big, he's always a big beast in that low mm. block. But uh, you know, pound for pound, I think you'd probably say Adozi's got the edge. Absolutely. Uh, not only with the, you know, with, with his ability, it's his experience. The basketball IQ of a player like Daniel Adozi, it's always going to be hard to play against. It's going to play into a factor. It's going to play into the mind of Baltiano t uh, tonight. Well, starters are taken to the floor. Absolutely. And uh, there is, of course, uh, Daniel Adozi. Samuel Sanders. Just, uh, Andrew Hamilton. So, Mr. Rodriguez saying a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I think I think they are going to be as you know, more competitive um, at the moment. I think that they're definitely going to want to be within. You know, the, the, they're going to want to start hot. That's what Wolves always do. They start hot, they start fresh, and they come out of the blocks hot and fast. Well, they've gone for that. You know, big man's going to is going <laughs> to jump this one up for us for sure, yep. and uh, it's going to beat Isaiah Walker and Daniel Adozi. Panos Mind Dombey, of course. Mm. Is, uh, is someone who can shoot from anywhere on the floor. So deployed very early tonight. Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, someone with that, that that ability definitely need them on the floor at the start. So and there he is. So straight away, the first offensive set. Daniel Adozi, as we said, bags of experience mm -hmm. at the top level. In and out into the hands of uh, Rodriguez. Jacob, Je Jacob uh, Dearman, or Jacob German, even. <laughs> Get my teeth back in. Getting a start tonight as I walk up. Lucas McGregor, McGregor. There it is. The match up. There you go, we said it, didn't we? Turns the corner. A little baby hook, kiss off the window. <laughs> Opener for two for Wolves. Crowd enjoying that one. Good travelling support here for Worc for uh, Bristol. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot up here in Worcester. Here it is again. There's that match up once again. Oh. It's batted away from a dozy. I think it was Walker just got a think to it. And, on, <laughs> and that's why he's leading the, the league in rebounds per game. Yeah, there he is right there, tidying up the junk on the window ledge and uh, turning it into a couple of points. To a piece. Back and forth from a dozy and Baltiano. Rodriguez. A little pump fake from him. Dances his way inside. Turn around, fade away from Ivan Rodriguez. Tack two onto the tally. Rivera Rodriguez. A minute of shrapnel played in this game. You see the pace straight away. Nice work. Kick it out. It's the first Lovely. triple of the Lovely. game. Andrew Hamilton. Hamilton hits his first one. So McGregor now for Wolves. As we say, these teams sitting next to each other in the league. Bristol just ahead on points difference, but uh, the points from tonight's game are going to determine what that third spot looks like. Mm. Rodriguez fouled. So pushing foul, the call from the referee. And uh, was he behind the line? I couldn't see from here. We're a long mm. way <laughs> from that end of the court, it has to be said. I'll say I didn't bring my telescope with me. So, on the floor. Yeah, I think Rodriguez felt that one was uh, that one was sending him to the line, but yeah. uh, Dearman, Rodriguez in the corner. Rodriguez now, he dances again inside. Beautiful jumper from the elbow. Hard one to stop there. A running pull up, jumper. Wolves by one, we said in the talk up tonight, this was gonna be fireworks. Oh yeah. It definitely is, Hamilton now on the ball. Bristol. Ooh. That's trying to do too much with it there. To the pain. Well. And the one. Is that going to be the first foul on uh, Matteo Baltiano? 
So first foul of the game for him. He's got to keep himself out of foul trouble in this game. He's going to be a key player tonight. Oh, yeah. Between him and Isaiah Walker, <laughs> they've got a big old job to do. Oh, yeah. So Bristol by two, and Walker caught sleeping there. Yeah, Lucas McGregor, keep your eyes up. He is yeah. completely asleep at the wheel there, <laughs> Isaiah Walker. Yeah, it's time to wake up. Yeah, felt the wind <laughs> go past the <laughs> <laughs> now for, uh, for Bristol. Shoulders can't connect. It's into the hands of Dim, a little shovel inside. They get it out. To McGregor puts up that high arcing triple. Daniel Adozi there to collect it off the eye. That was a great little yeah. bounce pass to find Sanders. And that's the little things that Daniel Adozi sees that some other players might not. And that's a fantastic pass. Adozi kicks it out. Sanders once again. He's like a terrier. <laughs> Dearman collects it. Sanders is flawed in that contact. Dearman. Baltiano off the glass, no good. Hamilton's there to pluck it off the window. Baltiano maybe looking for a foul there. Maybe feel like he uh, felt a bit of contact. And Dombey. Saunders, Hamilton in the corner, head fake, drives hard inside. Well, he went with the shovel pass, didn't go. Yeah. Good work there from Walker this time. I think he's redeemed himself with that one. Yeah, very well saved. Found Baltiano. Good work at the other end. Dearman just can't finish. Oh dear, Hurricanes man. by two. Still doing a great job around the perimeter, but equally just a match and pound for pound. Oh, great work from Sanders. He saw wow. the space. The wow. lane opened up in front of him there. That came one in the build-up. Sent the defence the wrong way. So the referee now decided what to do. Hamilton trying to help them. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Decision. Of, <laughs> little bit of deliberating, you know. He's like, come on, come on. Well, yeah, let's hurry this up. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not, no. Well, at least you can't miss the referees yeah. tonight. And the referees are spotting their high-vis uh, high tops tonight. It is a building site outside here. Yeah. A big expansion <laughs> going on here at the Worcester Arena. Lovely. For those of you who haven't made the trip up here, well worth it. And um, this is a very much an expanding facility. I know that Bristol also very much... Uh, in the process of uh, of development, Samuel Saunders can't connect. Couldn't quite convert the and one there. Two shot game, Worcester. Just struggling a little bit on execution at the moment. Mm. Some of the pace just come out of the game. Dearman, Sanders. It's a terrific matchup. Again, Isaiah Walker out of position. And uh, backcourt violation is called. And uh, I think Dean Blake is going to have a word with Isaiah Walker. I think so. And gone by now for Bristol. Oh. it off to a dozy, gentle touch off the window. For Danny the dozy. His fourth point of the game. Six point ball game, Worcester. Bit of a scoring drought for them at the moment. Struggling to get anything away. Dearman struggling with that matchup with yeah. uh, Sanders. Good work from Rodriguez. Wow. Little switch with oh. uh, Lucas McGregor. Baltian who's there to tidy up. Finally, McGregor finds the two points. And uh, that time. Time for them to get back in this game. Dean Blake, sanguine on the bench. Just. Uh, a little bit too animated right now, but uh, good ball movement. Saunders once again can't get it to go. Thought he was nerfed in the air. He looked like he threw himself yeah. at the floor. Dearman gets it to Rodriguez. Almost got his pocket picked out in the corner to McGregor. Travel is the call, and uh, you kind of sense a timeout 
Yeah, there you go. There it is. Time there it is. <laughs> yeah, I kind of felt that was. Uh, I thought maybe a, if they string another couple of unanswered buckets together, yeah. he might uh, take them to one side. But he wants There's to talk it over. What are, what, what are you, what's your view? Yeah, I mean, you've you've got um, a, a couple of points there. Um, as we said, the the, the matchup between Boltiano and and Daniel Adozzi is, is is one to one to watch at the moment. Um, uh, Baltiano with two at the moment and Adozzi, uh, it looks like advantage Adozzi at the moment with four <laughs> and that put back, uh, put back layup was definitely um, showing his dominance there and, and the passing ability of this team, this Hurricanes team is, is it's fast, <laughs> their fast yeah. build up, uh, the pace that they've got, the offset that they have um, Samuel so uh, Sanders, what a pl what a, what a yeah. player he's been at the moment. So fast, and it lo looks like Jacob Dearman has definitely been struggling with that matchup. I feel like he's maybe been a bit slow off the mark, uh, especially when it comes to offense. He almost turned the ball over before that. Um, yeah. what I would say call a sort of bad defensive possession from the from the Hurricanes there, letting uh, you know three players to, you know, sort of dominate yeah. the, the area, and McGregor to, to sort of get them back into this game and the momentum there. So. Um, we're going to see how, how things pick up. Hopefully, the you know they don't see you know, the, the, the Hurricanes start to see the backdoor cuts and the lay-ins at the moment. Yeah, I thought Bristol have settled them a little bit. You know, yeah. sloppy turnovers, absolutely not, not connecting with passes. You know, almost almost throwing the ball out of the passing lane on some occasions. Yeah, and Isaiah Walker perhaps just slightly distracted. Yeah, I think I think so. I think he I think he's been a bit thrown off his game. Maybe the matchups aren't aren't you know, sort of where they need to be. Um, maybe maybe the Hurricanes have thrown out a different game plan than the, what they were preparing for. So we'll uh, we'll just have to see. The the game doesn't end six minutes in, so uh, a long way to go. The dozy once wow. again. A long ways too from Daniel Adozzi. Six bucket, uh, yeah. six point of the game, third bucket. German. Walker at the top, and uh, you see Rodriguez really didn't need to do that. So, well, um, okay, sure. A warning given, <laughs> it would appear. There's, uh, there's Reese Farrell coming off the bench in the last one, getting 25 points and six rebounds. Um, I believe it was in around about 22, 23 minutes, and what a display it was. Coming off the bench, he's been doing this all season, averaging 12 points. Well, Bruce Ajay managed to get himself a, a warning mm. straight off the blocks and uh, for that tangle. Didn't, uh, didn't come to anything. Meanwhile, Isaiah Walker has picked up his second foul of the ball game. Yep. One foul on the board so far for Bristol in this first quarter. 3.29 to play. So, my directing the uh, directing the <laughs> traffic. Farrell on the line. As you say, impact player off the bench, Reese Farrell. Doesn't have a half bad name, does he? <laughs> No, he doesn't, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Almost to say that. <laughs> so, we connect with the second of these two. This wow. is both of them. Walker's there to collect it. Now Worcester need to capitalise. Six-point ball game. Baltianu at the top. Damon. Lucas McGregor. Doesn't connect with that triple. Now mind Dombe. Directing the traffic for Bristol now. Farrell working well to get himself into the corner. Gonna to go to Farrell for sure. He puts up the three. Reese Farrell. No good. Rodriguez collects it. Jay soaring through the air trying to grab that rebound. I love that hustle. It's a spark that the Hurricanes need. Another triple now from Rodriguez. Could have done with that one going. <laughs> Can the Wolves hold on to the ball? That's the question. Well done by flawed in that one. 2.30 to play. Bristol lead here 14 points to 
eight in the first quarter. NBL Division Two action. This is a top of the table clash, really. Yeah. Absolutely. Either of these teams can get their, you know, their, 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 their milestone mark. Yeah. Ten wins in this one. Lucas McGregor inbounds from the end line. Pereira checked into the game. McGregor this time rearranges it. Drops it in for two using every ounce of experience. Roy up the other end. Wow, it was, wow. A, it was a little bit of a... I wouldn't be surprised if I saw that in a football match, if I'm honest. Yeah. <laughs> I, think he, I think he may be overplaying it ever so slightly. Oh. And, uh, actually, he's had, a, he's had a warning from the referee. I think he's going to get a... He needs to, uh, he needs to keep his head. Bruce Ajay slightest of the contacts and throw himself to the mm. ground. And it's at this point we would like to thank Aston's coaches, one of our sponsors, <laughs> the Oyster Wolves. <laughs> Absolutely. And Universal Display, who I think make those boards. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, lovely boards. That's that right. Is there anyone from Universal Display in the house? You could just spend it for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruce Ajay. Well, referee oh. would have been well within his rights to give a technical foul. He has not so Ajay back on the bench. I think uh, I think coast, uh, coach Kes Tutis has to uh, sort some sort some of the uh, sort of attitude out with uh, with Bruce there. Gregor now drives the baseline. <laughs> Fouled in the air. So Ashley Pierce the foul. There was uh, there was potential for him to finish that with the and one, but I think he went more for flash and rather than the rather than finesse. Casey Smith checked in for uh, for Hamilton, so a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I can't remember the last time I saw a Panos on either team sheet as well. <laughs> so. Wow, We've got a brace of Panoses tonight. What a honour. So McGregor. Drains it, gets Wolves back within three. His fifth point of the game. Roberto Ferreira. He's got to take care of his business down in the corner. And um, Macy Smith loses his footing. Daniel Adozi just directing things. The dozy, he just he just hangs around like a <laughs> like a, he's just a he's a constant presence. Yep. You know, he can virtually score from the bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah he never he rarely sits on the bench. Danny Ladozi, he he averages 34 minutes a game. He ra he rarely sits on that yeah. bench. Casey Smith, the young fella, doesn't connect with the first of those two. Smith, first of the second. One from four for the line for Bristol. The last two trips to the stripe. Takes the lead out of four. Altiano's taking a, taking a little breather there, taking a little seat. And we're going to see the first instance of Liam Landers Barker. McGregor almost stepped the ball over the line there. McGregor Rodriguez. Lovely. for a triple from the top and he sinks it. Walls within one, so. Now they need to stop. Panos Cavallas. On Smith. Good work from Cavallas to go into the hands of Baltianu now. Here come the Wolves. Panos Cavallas at the top. Lucas McGregor. McGregor goes to turn the corner, comes off his foot. The referee's given it away of Wolves. Uh, That's the same, a long way away. A good first defensive display for, for Langridge Barker there. Getting into the passing lane and, and providing what the Wolves have been needing in terms of defensive rotations. Balciano, big man, shoots from downtown. And with that, Worcester 
Get their noses in front. And Langridge Barker, one of those players to, uh, to no, yeah, be known to shoot the three. Good size off the bench. Farrell. Kicks it out. Facing the corner. Smith in the corner. Very good. Carlos oh. Calavas has it for Wolves. What a turnaround this has been. Ferreira, just to remind you, equal on points in the league. Mm -hmm. Bristol third, Wolves fourth. McGregor, McGregor, he pulls up for a triple. Oh. Look at go this time. Oh, Ferreira's there to collect it off the board. Strips away. The whistle has gone. Foul call, so... And uh, yeah, I'll send the Hurricanes to the line. The Wolves have been in team fouls for a little bit now. That's the sixth foul of this quarter. And they need, they're going to need to slow this down, I think. Otherwise, they're going to run into trouble later down in the game. Samuel Sanders on the line for Bristol. Sanders with the first. Mm. Doesn't make it. Bristol struggling from the line tonight. Yeah. Missing quite a few of those easy chance buckets. They could easily be over the 20 point mark in this quarter if they just sink some free throws. One from five from the stripe so far. Make that two from six. Three the points. Stats. Three points there for Sanders in the game now. 7.4 seconds of Dozy. Takes a breather. McGregor, McGregor drives hard to the bucket. Lucas McGregor. Crowd enjoying that one. It is a sellout crowd here tonight in Worcester. Saturday night. And this place is jumping. End of the first quarter. Worcester Wolves lead here on their home floor. 19 points to 16. There are periods in that first quarter, Reese, where that looked like an impossibility. Yeah, absolutely. There was a, a period, I believe it was 14 to 6. And uh, the Hurricanes thought that they might have had this game already wrapped up. I think head started a drop, head started a roll in the terms of Bruce Adji. So uh, I think that uh, you know they need to just take a step back. They need to look at where they are. They need to just relax a little bit and, and continue like they were in the first quarter. These Hurricanes, and uh, I definitely think that uh, that that Coach Trakalis is going to be. Uh, you know, trying to instill that in there in his team at the moment. Um, highlights from the Wolves, Lucas McGregor and Ian Vivera Rodriguez. Um, Lucas McGregor having a phenomenal form inside at the moment, trying to find those key areas and pockets to run into as he, uh, they both have seven points apiece. Yeah. And uh, Daniel Adozi leading the scoring for the Hurricanes with six including some dominance in that in that paint. And I think whatever Dean Blake said when that timeout happened, obviously it worked, I think it was. Oh, yeah. But just a little bit switched off in all yeah. areas, really, to a certain degree. Uh, you know, I mean, that's not, it's not fair to point the finger at Isaiah Walker. I think that just illustrated what was happening elsewhere on the court, maybe that slight distraction trying to figure it out, you know, yeah. a bit out of position. I know Lucas McGregor, when he passed that initial ball down, you know, he pointed at his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you look what's Focus happening around up. you. Focus up. Focus up. Absolutely. And, uh, and we need to sort of just, you know, relax. Get those passes in, make sure those passes are, you know, and just making the easy passes. Lucas McGregor knows how to find a pass. Um, you know, he could find a needle in a haystack. Uh, that's how good he is uh, at spotting those, those intricate passes, those threading the needle passes that Lucas McGregor can do. And uh, I feel like when, you, when he's got the ball, you just have to look that way and expect it at the unexpected moment. Absolutely. Well, it's a three-point game right now. Worcester leading 19 to 16. And uh, Calavas almost losing his footing there. Mm. Goes to Rodriguez at the top. Switches with Lucas McGregor. Good work around the perimeter this from Wolves. McGregor just drives hard inside. Lucas McGregor dumps it in for two. And especially now with Adozi out of the game, you can maybe push to that paint a little more. That size is gone. Well, looking for something there. Yeah. Came. Oh, that's a beautiful oh. pass. I think possibly intercepted by Ferreira mistakenly, but Ferreira is there. He can oh. redeem himself now. Farrell's there just to collect him. Oh, Dombey. For Bristol. 
Roman Dumpling bounces inside. Stephen Ford can't get himself onto the score sheet. Carlos Calabas. Good work to find Lucas McGregor. Nine on the shot clock now. McGregor goes left, goes right. <laughs> Draws the foul. And he is going to the line. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's, it's a position that he's found himself in multiple times. Lucas McGregor trying to push all the way to the rim and forces the foul. He will go to the line. He's a, he's a good shooter from the line as well. So Lucas McGregor strokes it on the first. First player to hit double digits in this game. 10 for Lucas McGregor. And he's here in the string section with the second. <laughs> Bill, maybe it's starting to slip now for the Hurricanes. They need to find a way back in this one. Ryan Dombe. Was cool once again to Ford for three. Doesn't go, nearly collects his own rebound. Calabas, I think he felt he was fouled. He slipped more than he was fouled. Yeah, Bartiano's just saying, get on with it. <laughs> let's, let's not worry about that. It's gone. Yeah, it's, it's it. gone. Stephen Ford uh, being shown an extended uh, run out today, only having a, a minute in their last outing against the uh, Fly Academy Flyers. Oh, Ferreira. Ferreira's there, to make a nuisance of himself. <coughs> oh, me. I haven't got a cough button. <laughs> Dangerous Hamilton. Stripped away from Hamilton by Baltianu. McGregor. Demon in the corner. McGregor, Baltianu at the top. Puts it up. No good. Mine Dombo's there just to collect it. Walls. Walking back on deep. Once again. Again, Baltianu's there. He's doing a great job tonight, Matei Baltianu. Three steals in a couple of minutes. Demon, Roberto Ferreira, Demon at the top. Nine on the shot clock now. Rodriguez puts it up, oh. step back two, and he's fouled. So he is going to go to the line once again. So second team foul, no foul so far in the quarter for Wall 6.53 to play in the second quarter of this National Basketball League Division 2 top of the table clash or as near as damn it top of the table yeah. certainly in playoff land absolutely I mean uh, when, you, when you've got teams like the, uh, the Rockets up there he's certainly just uh, yeah. wanting to, to play for for those get player positions, as, get as close as you can. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, team like the, the like the Rockets, they're 15 and 0. Yeah, um, they're going to take some catching. Rodriguez, it's the first of those two. 6:53 to play. It's Walls by eight. Can Rodriguez turn this into nine? He can't, and it's collected by Baltiano. Good box out. The Wolves, McGregor, Bartianu, it's up the two, no good, Rodriguez is there again, gets the 14 reset off the clock, <laughs> they don't use it, they go to Bartianu, this time it's McGregor, he dances inside, oh. and that is going to be a Bristol ball, well, they would have hoped to do something more with that, Wolves, but uh, stating the obvious, but... Um, Play. 
Certainly look good. Incoming. Saving coming. Oh no. <laughs> it's pandemonium. <laughs> it's panostomonium. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna call it, the sequel. <laughs> panostomonium to the uh, revenge. We'll be open to suggestions, guys. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I believe there was kick a kickball ball violation in there. A good call by the ref, a late call, yeah. but a good call nonetheless. Sanders certainly has made an impression every time he's been on the court. It's a real wide open shooter. Dozy. And uh, foul called. Is that going to be on Baltiano? I think it is. Yeah. Well, if it is, that is going to be. Well, right, that's on Rodriguez. Yeah. So, second foul of the game for him. Chance to catch up here. Baltiano's kept himself out of trouble so far in the game. Baltiano, I believe, has ten, uh, uh, two fouls at the moment. Scoreboard operator. Maybe his buttons don't work. We have no stats tonight, folks. <laughs> Reese is uh, <laughs> stepping into the breach. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, folks. Hamilton. Again, can't connect. Yeah, tough night at the line continues, Bristol Hurricanes. Yeah. Jacob Dearman goes to McGregor at the top. As I walk up, getting ready to uh, give uh, a breather to Lucas McGregor. Stephen Ford picks up his second foul of the game. And Davoudi checks in. This first bit of action tonight. Seven on the shot clock here. We need to get a shot away. Davoudi's driving inside Ooh, and tough. Uh, yeah, very tough defense, very muscular defense from Bristol. But with that, that is their fourth foul of the quarter. Five minutes, 30 to play. So, the Wolves will be looking to inhale as much defence as they can in the next five minutes or so. Marion Davoudi also able to connect from the line. on display there. Oh, it was a nice move from Sanders. He just wrong-footed the oh. defender. <laughs> oh, a good move there by Adozi. Yeah. Trying to get to the to the basket using his size. Shake off Walker. And the pass intercepted. This oh. And the block came, but so did the foul. Marion Davoudi. So. And uh, just with a break in the action for a moment, I'd just like to thank all the fans in attendance uh, for this NBL Division 2 North game. 960 packed here into the University of Worcester Arena. It so, is a sellout, folks. Honestly, absolutely fantastic. So thank you to all the fans. Uh, thank you to all of our amazing fans here at the Wolfpack. Um, and make sure that you are here at the next game uh, so that you can be a part of this amazing organization. Well, back here tomorrow afternoon, of course, it'll be a WNBL Division One. 
the Worcester Wolves women will be in action. Tip off in that one at two, and we will be live from the arena tomorrow. But uh, if you want tickets, uh, you can uh, get those through the Worcester Wolves website, www.worcesterwolves.com and follow the links if you go to fixtures and uh, follow the links from there yeah. and uh, you can buy your tickets and it's been a while for home action to get back to the uh, arena Christmas seems like a, a lifetime ago now right yeah, it does indeed Run but uh, turkey legs and all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well it's fair to say it looks like none of these guys uh, you know Christmas didn't affect any of these guys they're all absolutely yeah. shredded <laughs> uh, on the other hand Christmas affected me too much, so uh, just like us, you mean? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> too much, too much, uh, too much of the, of the turkey. So Pierce on the line. Can he break this drought from the line for Bristol? He can. Strings the first. Play 17. Make that 18 six point game. Mm. First two in the game for Ford. Davudi, that was a nice move to find Dearman to Walker. Yeah, Struggling Walker. For options, yeah. yeah, just a little bit isolated. Swarming Hurricanes defence. This time Walker puts up the triple, doesn't go to Voodie. Good ball from him. Angle once again. In the corner, and uh, Dearman, uh, Pierce, I beg your pardon, got a finger to it, so that'll be a Wolves ball. A Wolves ball on the sideline. Uh, Hurricane seem to be yeah. scrambling on defence. Coach Kestutis really unhappy with that, actually. Yeah, Just I think so. Spotted that from here. Very animated that over there. Should have been a Bristol possession, really. Especially leaving a player like Langridge Barker in the corner. Darian Davoudi, he gets his pocket picked. And Langridge Barker's back there. But uh, Walker collects it. Dearman once again. Worcester just holding on. They're getting the stops. Dearman now for Wolves. Good work around the perimeter from Worcester. Kick it out this time to Baltianu for three once again. Connected early on from downtown and uh, John Ball the arrow is with Bristol so mm. they retain possession of the basketball a bit of handbags going on there I think yeah. cat fight <laughs> I think it does just steps it and said <laughs> enough is enough folks yes let's carry on with the an game. assertive referee I like it yeah. <laughs> but not too much he doesn't overcompensate he just does he does enough. Sandy shovels inside to a dozy. A dozy Ooh. now. A little bit of a double yeah. team there on a dozy. Pierce, uh, does he get his pocket picked again? He does. Turn the ball over a few times now. Isaiah Walker. Oh. And a wedge. So, it's going to be. And long possession for Wolves. It'll be Jacob Dearman on the inbounds. Yeah, he doesn't have a high output normally, but he's the orchestrator of this Wolves team. Picking, uh, you know, pulling the strings. The Rudy lost a handle on the ball. And a foul. Which should send the Voodoo to the line, and yeah. that takes the Hurricanes into team fouls. In a five team fouls. Ferreira. Chance for Davudi yeah. to get his first two points of the game here. Well, he wipes its feet, but in it goes. So it's a seven point ball game as it stands. Can Davudi turn this into an eight point game? He can't, so seven points it remains. Dozy's there just to let that off the only work. Well, Dozy in the block. Daniel Dozy doing what he does best. 
Walker has it, and this time it'll be Walls who have the arrow. Ooh. And uh, I think Ford, another player who needs to just calm down a little bit. I think the I think heads are beginning to be lost at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah calm it down, says the referee. Yeah. Maybe gets Weiss. Yeah. Cool off. Coach Gastutis. He's not happy. But uh, I think they might have forgotten. This is an ice hockey. You can't just <laughs> you can't just Body start check. you can't just start <laughs> fights in the middle of the game. Oh, goes into Mind Dolme. Mind Dolme now. So that's a Ford once again. This time Ford dances in the paint. Oh. Triple attempt. That's strength. Doesn't go. A dozy. No basket. And uh, well, <laughs> Ferreira was looking for the travel there. Yeah. More chance of flying to the moon with that jet propulsion, frankly, <laughs> but anyway, from where I'm sitting. <laughs> I say, a, a, a player like a dozy travelling. Yeah. He knows what he's doing with his footwork, no chance. And uh, Walker sat as he picks up his third foul. Language Barker comes back into the game, number 15. The big guy with a three-pointer. Well, just to give a bit of extra extra height in the block. Hey, beautiful finish. Five-point ball game, Ferreira. Arian Davudi. German once again almost gets his pocket picked. Stephen Ford. Davudi looks up, stop and go, tries to put it high off the glass, doesn't go, but uh, there is Mete Bartianu doing his job, understanding his role. Seven points of difference now. Since Worcester got their noses in front. I believe uh, ref's calling the yeah. foul on the f on the floor there, and that's going to go on. I believe it might be language Barker, and we're going to see Jacob Dearman yeah. and Aaron Davudi make way for Lucas McGregor and Ian Vivera Rodriguez. 2:03 to play in the uh, second quarter. Wolves on 14 fouls, Bristol on five. So that pretty much neutralizes the threat. Ford from the corner for three, doesn't go. Mondombe has it, can't get it to go. McGregor. Such fast-paced, ferocious action. And this continues tomorrow at 1 p.m. here at the University of Worcester Arena. To watch the N WNBL Division 1. So, the referee has blown up once again. So... Okay, issue with the clock, I think. They're happy. So, sideline ball, Rodriguez on the inbounds. Rodriguez. Gonna get the shot Ooh. away here. And, uh, well, ah. foul <laughs> called. I believe it was a travel. And, uh, well, I think they were looking for one. Didn't come, did it? I thought the uh, I thought I saw the uh, a motion of a travel from the referee. Then well, you're probably right because the foul hasn't gone up. Rodriguez wow. spin from him. Wow! Wow! Number ten for him. Tenth point of the game. Oh, speed! Yeah. Lightning McQueen, Samuel <laughs> Sanders. Getting in the passing lane, incoming. Incoming once again. We're not in a great place here, guys, but anyway. I don't know where that's gone. 
It's probably under our table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're trapped. Sorry, ref. Yeah, get a souvenir of the game as well. How about that? <laughs> a match ball. Or a black eye, depending on whether uh, the ball comes and hits you in the face. It's to a dozy. Daniel a dozy now. Drives hard inside. Mm. Loses the handle on the ball. Yeah. Oh, wow. goodness me. Wow. My Ndombe nails it from downtown. That was a big score. Yeah, his second bucket of the game, and he's hit two threes now. Six point ball game. 17 seconds on the game clock. 13 on the shot clock. Into the hot hand of Rodriguez there to finish Rodriguez. it off. Spins inside once Ooh. again and is fouled. A lot of contact here. Yeah, it is a physical, physical game tonight. Hard hitting, hard hitting. So Hamilton on three. So Rodriguez once again strings the first of those two. So back to a seven point game. And with this Rodriguez as he sets, makes it. An eight point ball game, 9.5 seconds, timeout. Bristol Hurricanes. Yeah, absolutely. What's in, what's in the mind of uh, Coach Castutus right now, do you think? Um, I think it's, again, it's, it's one of those where they're going to have to try and slow the game down. They've, they've got this sort of, you know, they, they, they've always looked at, at this game. I mean, they, they, they did look sort of favourites coming into this. They're. they're, they're their third, uh, the best defense in the, in the league, and uh, but they're not showing that tonight. Um, you know, obviously, we've seen a few uh, you know, heads heads being lost. Mm -hmm. um, just a few. Yeah. You just need to calm down. I think slow the game, and uh, and just make sure that your passing is accurate. I mean, we've seen a dozy try to take a few passes and they've gone waywards. Um, there have been a lot of turnovers from the Hurricanes, and I think that. They just need to, like I said, slow the game down uh, as fast as Samuel Sanders is. He needs to also slow down because he's not, you know, he's not just going to get to the basket yeah. by progressing and, and just sort of going completely and utterly insane, <laughs> like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I mean, he's quick. He's absolutely quick. He's super quick. And those spin moves that he provides, yeah. trying to shake the defenders. Um, but this Wolves team have a very, very good defensive lock at the moment, and I think it's going to be hard to shake that defence. They're very disciplined for such a young team. Well, 9.5 seconds, so Coach Gestut has obviously drawn something up. Here comes Farrell, muscling his way to the bucket. Doesn't get it to go. 2.8 seconds, he gets it at the death. And there we are at half time here in Worcester. It is the Worcester Wolves leading the Bristol Hurricanes 31 points to 25. Maurice, your wrap up on that first half. Absolutely. So, um, obviously, uh, Wolves were, you know, I, I think if I was Coach Dean Blake right now, I'd be very impressed with my side. I would think that the, the great performance from Lucas McGregor on 11 points and Ian Vivera Rodriguez currently sitting on 12. Uh, both of those guys have been integral to this league going forward. Also the defensive efforts of Liam Langridge Barker, who had an extensive period in the game due to Bal uh, Baltianu's fouls in the first quarter. So uh, obviously Baltianu hasn't had as much of a, an impact on this game because he's been out of the game a little bit too much. So I feel like we're going to see that a little bit more in this second half, and I can't wait to see a bit more of that Adozi Baltianu uh, matchup right there. I think uh, Coach Castutas is probably going to have to deploy the hairdryer. Absolutely. In terms I think, of just calling some heads down. Yes, absolutely. I think uh, that, that's really affected their game tonight. We've not seen uh, Bruce uh, Ajay since um, uh, since that uh, you know incident happened, and, and especially St you know, Stephen Ford as well, who um, you know hasn't had too much in terms of game time this season. I think if you look at his averages off the bench, 
he averages around about eight minutes. Yeah. And in that last outing, he only played, he played less than two minutes. So, you know, obviously he loves to fight and he's passionate for the team. But, you know, especially if they aren't used to being in this losing position. Um, yeah. They have been a really good team and they've only lost three this season so far. So I think they need, need to calm down, settle down, can't, you know, st take a step back, slow the game down and yeah. take the game at their pace and don't play at the Wolves' pace. The Wolves have done a great job, you know, dealing with the defence, as you said. Big defensive energy coming into this game. And uh, yeah. Wolves have done a, a good job of, of coping with that. Absolutely. Their defensive rotations have been fantastic. And then their transition from defence to create that offense has been phenomenal. Lucas, Lucas McGregor, I thought it would be tough for them yeah. to get into the paint tonight. Lucas McGregor taking the ball to the hoop, uh, finishing, finessing, and, and, and even you know taking himself to the line, which is something that he always does best. So I think that their game plan at the moment is working perfectly. I think yeah. there's nothing that needs to be changed unless the Hurricanes are able to adapt to what the Wolves are doing. Um, obviously, it's a young quick side very much so yeah. compared to the veteran side of the hurricanes where you've got those those selected players that might not be able to keep up but they're they're still a physical presence um, but that's where the rotation it was scary that we saw that just uh baltianu and language barker on the court at the same time the two big men uh so that size impact is definitely going to show and i you know i, I believe it's going to show in the in the second half coming as well well, we're going to find out in about 10 minutes' time when we will be back. But uh, before that, a quick word for our sponsors, the University Lovely. of Worcester. Of course, Universal Display, who've got a bit of a job to do tonight after that. Aston's yeah, coaches who, who have lost their board. Uh, Spirit Executive, they're okay. Something Party, uh, Spirit Care, Spirit Events, Synergy Sports, DC Base Limited, and Hickory Smokehouse in Worcester. If you like some good old Southern Barbecue, that's the place to go. Mm. And uh, we want to thank, of course, to Spirit Events tonight for sponsoring the halftime shootout. All these uh, youngsters who've come onto the court and uh, hopefully they're getting inspired to get involved in the game of basketball. That's the plan. League partners Wilson Dynamic Sports Serve and uh, Sure Shot, of course. Don't forget, keep up all the latest news with the uh, Worcester Walls. Follow the team across all the social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and LinkedIn. Uh, and if your kids want to get involved, boys and girls are welcome to take part on the, in the uh, Sunday session, Saturday sessions, don't go on a Sunday, it's closed, at the University of Worcester St John's Campus Sports Centre, 9 till 10, sessions for 5 to 7 and 8 to 11 year olds, and after that session from 10 to 15 to 11 15 for 11 to 16 year olds, it is £5 per session when booked in advance, or 7 if you pay on the day, book your child's place on the Worcester Walls website, and uh, also Friday Fundamentals sessions designed to help players improve their skills have already developed Sessions take place at the University Arena, 6 to 7. There are sessions for 8 to 11 year olds, and then 7, 8 to 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, 6 to 7 p.m. for 8 to 11 year olds, 7 to 8 p.m. for 12 to 16 year olds. Five pounds per session when booked in advance, or seven pounds if you pay on the day. So book your child's place now on the Worcester Walls website, www.worcesterwalls.org, and you can follow the links from there. We'll update you with the rest of the activities. Mm -hmm.
Welcome back to the University Arena here in Worcester. It is uh, Worcester Wolves leading the Bristol Hurricanes by 31 to 25 as they headed back into the locker room at the end of that first half. Reese, I mean Worcester, uh, maybe halfway through that first quarter, you were thinking they could they could get blown out here. <laughs> You know, but they found a way back, and once they got their noses in front, they never really looked back, did they? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, what we were saying pre-game was the impact of Daniel Adozi wasn't as, uh, I mean, they were staying away from him, that was for sure, and, and making sure that he wasn't in the game. When you've got a guy that's averaging 19 rebounds a game and 22 points, it's, it's going to be the game plan to stay away from him. He's such a defensive presence. And uh, with the size that the Wolves also bring with, with Language Barker, uh, Boltianu, uh, and also uh, the likes of Isaiah Walker, who's had a little bit of a trickier game today, yeah. um, picking on three fouls and yeah, maybe not having the best start uh, that he would have hoped for. Um, so yeah, I think I think with what they bring in size, they, they definitely are uh, missing uh, a guy like Tom Grayling, um, who would bring intensity and, uh, and, and so, uh, uh, more size as well. Um, but at the moment, it looks like the Wolves are going to be the, the yeah. team here at the moment to get that 10th win of the season, 10 and four. Um, and that win percentage for the Hurricanes is gonna go down from 75% uh, for the season. And uh, you know, maybe their defensive record yeah. is, uh, is gonna maybe slip the Wolves after this win, potentially. Um, they might end up with the best defensive record in the, in the league. And obviously a few other games going on tonight. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. So we'll, uh, we'll go to the ones that are currently live at the moment. Uh, in the fourth quarter, the Oakland Wolves currently behind uh, as Ipswich leads 67-66. Uh, in, in period three, uh, we have the uh, Northamptonshire. Uh, we have Northamptonshire against Oxford Hoops, 67-64. Uh, and uh, we also have the very, very impressive uh, City of Birmingham Rockets currently leading in the second quarter. 34 against the Doncaster Eagles to 30. Wow. So, uh, City of Birmingham, of course, 15 and 0 on yep. the season this year. It's 100% for them, and uh, leading every single stat line is possible to lead yeah. on the table board. Much like the uh, Wolves from last season in Division Three, just you know, wiping the floor with the competition. Uh, fast, furious, and beautiful basketball. But that carries on over the weekend here at the yep. University of Worcester Arena tomorrow. You can catch the WNBL Division One Wolves side here. 1 p.m. tip-off, so you can get your tickets online now. 2 p.m. tip-off. 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. I'm getting my times mixed up. <laughs> but you're welcome to turn up at 1 if you like. Turn up at 1, get all your fancy concessions yeah. and your merchandise. <laughs> so, back underway here in Worcester. Isaiah Walker straight away bringing a bit of energy. To proceed as Ryan Dombey has got a, a poke in the ice. Back to the starting five for uh, oh. for Bristol. Hamilton. Hamilton coming in with three fouls into this quarter. Oh, there you go. There's a first triple. And with that, Bristol right back in the mix. Three-point ball game. 31 plays, 28 here in Worcester. Rodriguez looking to put the triple up. Adozi's there to collect it. It's back and forth now. You can see that maybe the, the talk at half-time from Coach Kestutis. Triple that time doesn't go. Dearman. Big minutes tonight from Dearman. Baltiano. He's off to Lucas McGregor and uh, great work there. Yeah, Reese Farrell getting in the passing lane, coming a nuisance. Here is Farrell now, muscles his way Lovely. to the bucket. Well, one point ball game. So McGregor getting away with the travel there. Walker. Mm. 
No good. Momentum stifled a little bit. Yep. Hurricanes have a chance to go in front. Muscular defense from Lucas McGregor. It goes into the hands of Rodriguez. Dumps it off to Bartiano, oh. and he is going to go to the line to add the bonus. Matei Bartiano. <laughs> but it was Rodriguez who made that happen. Et un, as they say in front. <laughs> and one bucket. Yes, Del Boy. <laughs> and this time, next year, we'll be champions. Yeah. <laughs> So Bartiano on the line. And really, that move started right at the other end of the court. Lucas McGregor just stripping that ball away. And uh, Rodriguez keeping his head. So Wolves back out to a four point ball game. Tough screen. Oh, Lovely. A beautiful finish. Andrew Hamilton. That's his fifth point of the game. Lovely screen initially by Adozi, allowing the space to be made for Hamilton to do the hard work, get to the rim. Rodriguez, McGregor. Yeah, McGregor just dancing around in the paint. Lucas McGregor can't finish. It was a great move, but Isaiah Walker is there to tidy up. That spin move there from. McGregor is just a little taste of what you can see here at the University of Worcester Arena. Ryan Dombe for two. You can be part of this jam-packed 960 sold out here tonight. Super impressive. Thank you to all fans here for the Worcester Wolves. Rodriguez trying to find his way through the defense. Flawed in the contact. Damon puts mm. up the three, doesn't go. He's there to collect the rebound. Yeah. Dozy's. It's foul at this time. It can't go. Good ball from Walker. Just to calm it down. Two point game. One shot in it. Serious lack of yeah. intensity on those rebounds since the uh, exclusion of, of Umberto Ferreira. Gregor looking for the ball there. Didn't come. Walker. It shot, clock, violation. Yeah, good defense from Bristol running that shot clock down. Worcester really with nowhere to go. I was saying McGregor and Walker were stuck in this corner right here. And oh, Bruce Ajay checks back in, and uh, the crowd are letting him know what they think. Well, he's certainly not winning any popularity contest soon, that's for sure. I think Aston's won't be giving him a lift home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the train for you, sir. Great ball movement now, this from Bristol, Adozi. Adozi just bundles his way inside, can't finish. Great defense there by Rodriguez. Giving up a lot of size there, but not giving him space. Head fake, Rodriguez. Lovely. Drives inside, goes out to Lucas McGregor, he puts up the triple. Doesn't go this time, AJ has it. Well, he's turned himself into the pantomime villain here <laughs> by the sounds of things. He's behind you. Daniel Adozi, Adozi at the top. See Adozi, Baltiano show, and this wow. time Baltiano just strips it away. McGregor inside to Rodriguez, and he steps out of bounds with the ball. Well, McGregor, uh, obviously, he's going to be um, directing traffic here. Um, he's not happy with, uh, with uh, yeah. Baltiani there on that offensive possession. Well, a two-point game. Just, uh, could have just put a little bit of fresh air between them, but uh, it wasn't to be. It comes by and Dombe. 4.43 to play in the third quarter. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be Sanders for three. This time doesn't go. Rodriguez is there, and that's going to be a foul on uh, Mayan Dombe. So here's 
And, uh, Third of the game. These, these boos are going to come into play, I feel. Maybe going into the head still of, of Bruce Adji. Yeah. Uh, a very, like, like I, uh, we keep saying, a packed house here at the University of Worcester Arena. Um, and a lot, lot of people packed into this place. There's a lot of noise. Yeah. So, McGregor. Falling line, Stephen Ford yeah. checked back in. McGregor this time jumps inside. Ooh, lovely move. Yeah, draws a foul. I might be on a dozy. Going to the line, so that'll be the third foul of the uh, of the quarter for Bristol. 4:23, still to play in this third quarter. And uh, Dozy directing the traffic in the paint so Lucas McGregor on the line is he going to hear the string section again this is what we want to know so he oh. does with the first of those two splashes it no there's no other sound on earth that's more satisfying <laughs> than that nothing but string 37 plays 34 and, uh, well they all count a lucky bounce Saunders. Daniel Adozi flies inside. <laughs> and uh, with that, we're back to a two point ball game. Wolves just clinging on at the moment. hard to the bucket can't finish close off the glass there so in transition now Bristol triple doesn't Whoa. Go and uh, well the referee really unhappy and, uh, I thought I could hear a Vuvu Zayla there for a second <laughs> Vuvu Zayla yeah. Oh, that might be. <laughs> I think it is a movie. Like <laughs> I thought they banned those. So Wolves just breathe again there. That three attempt oh. probably not the best shot selection. And Lucas McGregor down on the floor. Yeah. He clattered in that contact. Took a blow to the head. Yeah. Stephen Ford, he uh, let him know that he was there. Yeah, McGregor took, I mean, he might have, might have maybe caught a flailing limb to the face. Now he's seeing stars. Yeah. Wisped in a hurricane. <laughs> so, time, time out walls, yeah. So. It's ship steadying. <laughs> it's, uh. I think both both teams have, you know, the momentum going into the second half. Um, I feel like it was definitely in the in the Wolves court. Um, and I think when you look at this, these these teams coming back out from that that halftime break, they have, you know, they both they both sort of picked up where they left, you know, where they started in that first quarter. The very back and forth, um, you know, sort of three quarters of the way through that that first first quarter. Um, you know, McGregor and, and Rodriguez still sort of carrying the line. Matali Baltiano uh, coming into this game, he's picked up seven points at the moment. Uh, two points in, you know, in, in between these teams, and yeah. you, you've got to think. So, uh, you know, at the, at the half, we thought maybe the Wolves could be in for a comfortable sort of victory if they continue to coast, and the Hurricanes have continued to climb back. Their resiliency is showing, and that's why they are currently third in the league at the moment with nine and three. And uh, like I said, the, the, you know, the best defensive record in the league at the moment. And, you know, they're, they're definitely showing how, how well they can play, not only on offense, but in, in terms of their, their rotation defensively. Well, they've come in, they've certainly dealt with uh, what they were facing at half time. And now an opportunity to level this game, lock it up at 38 apiece. Yeah. It, it all rides on the shoulders of Mr. Stephen Ford. 
Well, let's see what he can do from the line. Stephen Ford now has the opportunity. So upgrade to a Ferrari. And he doesn't do it, so Worcester, at the very least, if he makes this, will be one right ahead. Big box needed from Bristol here. If it doesn't go, it goes. In some ways, they probably wanted the, <laughs> probably yeah. wanted the box out and the rebound. But anyway, 3.18 to play in the uh, third quarter. NBL Division 2, the Wolves taking on Bristol Hurricanes. Yeah, Rodriguez, this time Rodriguez puts up the... Oh, shoots a little bit. Yeah, just overcooked it and uh, out of bounds it goes. So Bristol possession. Sanders. Ajay. Oh, it's a beautiful finish. They've locked yeah. it up. Reese Farrell. One point game, Bristol Flyers 39, plays 38 now with 2.37 to go. So, Worcester had their noses in front, now it's Bristol at a similar stage in the half. They've now got their noses in front. Oh, we're going to be trading leads a bit here. Yeah, it's going to need a big effort. This from uh, Wolves and uh, Dearman just can't hang on to it over. Pass is overthrown. Yeah, that maybe uh, maybe the Wolves are again a little frustrated that their lead is uh, has fallen. Davuti checking in for Rodriguez for Worcester, and that's what you need off the bench. Humberto Ferreira, a ferocious player in terms of getting those rebounds and, and fighting for the ball, fighting for those loose balls. Ferreira, I beg your pardon. <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> I was to say, I, I've got my good glasses on today. Triple attempt doesn't go. It goes into the hands of Baltiano. So Worcester now really need to find a score on this uh, transition offense now. Step that game up. Baltiano, Dim. Kicks it out to Baltiano for three. No good. Ferreira has it. And a dozy just picks the pocket. Yeah, double team. Yeah. He picks the pocket of uh, Lucas McGregor. Defense! Defense! Trying to play at their own pace now. They got the lead. There's no point in forcing it. Yeah, Saunders. Just pops that ball up for the shot. Baltiano hands it off to Dearman. Dearman. To Baltiano. Barker, the corner for three, no good, misses everything. Ajay. It was fouled on that one. Yeah. And, uh, Ferreira, second foul for him. Yeah. He's a, he's a defensive nuisance for all offenses. He's great at pestering. Fantastic on the defensive covering. Davuti in. For Worcester. Ajay steps out of bounds. Oh he's, dear. he's still at it. He can't leave it alone. Crowd getting in his head and <laughs> and Technical foul. A foul shot. Technical foul, and that was uh, well inevitable, really. Yeah. Well, he just, he just needs to calm down. He needs to stop with the... Tea time for Bruce Ajay. With the antics. It's yes. <laughs> yes. Well, he's playing to the crowd here in Worcester. I think so. 
And he's saying, well, look at the score. <laughs> yeah. Simon Barker shoots a foul shot. Yeah. So, 39 apiece with that one. With 37.2 seconds to play in the third. Well, it certainly hasn't been won or lost in the third. No, no, not at all. I mean, uh, it's the most important quarter. It sets the momentum for the final quarter. And uh, this is going to be a, a really, really tough finish going down the stretch. Well, Sanders is there just to lay it in for two. Fun fact about uh, the pantomime villain of the evening, Bruce Adje, he, uh, actually an alumni of the, uh, the Bucks team for the University of Worcester. And so he's definitely been treated sure. better in this building. Yeah. I feel like another technical could be coming his way. Yeah. He very is, shortly. Yeah, I think the referee is saying another more, he's going to be ejected. That's pretty much what he said, no more. <laughs> Deary me. Anyway, okay. I mean, for, for, for someone who's 25 and, and definitely a career ahead of him, yeah. I think he needs to maybe uh, re-evaluate. Re <laughs> um, oh, Sanders, wow. what a finish. Wow, wow, wow what indeed. A, yeah, what a great finish. And with that four-point ball game at the oh. end of the third quarter, it's the Hurricanes now, the Bristol Hurricanes, who lead the Worcester Wolves on their home floor, 43 points to 39. Reese, give us your wrap-up on that quarter. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's definitely a physical battle. The Hurricanes have uh, have definitely fought their way back into this one, and 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 deservingly so. They've uh, they, they've absolutely crushed it this quarter. Uh, fought back in every way possible. The momentum stayed with them uh, through the likes of, of Reese Farrell, who's had a, a very very successful quarter, and uh, and and definitely. Uh, Mr. Panos as well, um, a, a very, you know, he's a veteran and uh, and a very collected head. So someone that you always need on the court at all times, either him or Mr. Daniel Adozi. One of those two needs to be on the court to help this young core group of, of players here at the Hurricanes thrive. And I feel like that's what we're seeing here. The the Wolves, I feel like, need to step it up a little bit. Um, Lucas McGregor might need to go try and get back to the line and, and force, the, force it through to the hoop. Yeah. Um, we've not seen a lot of that from him and uh, if, we, if he has or if he has tried then uh, he might have been met with, uh, with a swift block or uh, a steal from Mr Daniel Adozi yeah, just a slight drop in momentum from Wolves coming into this uh, second half isn't it and they were really in their pomp going into, yeah. the, uh, into the locker room but you just feel Bristol just sussed it out in parts yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like the inclusion of uh, you know someone a really underrated name on this court at the moment. Uh, obviously, we can talk about the uh, you know Samuel Sanders, Daniel, Daniel Adoji, um, Reese Farrell, um, but, uh, but Stephen Ford. Whilst he hasn't been in terms of offensive output, he's not been the greatest on the court. But just his position and where he's played tonight, he's been a bit of a nuisance on the offensive end in terms of spreading the floor. Yeah. He's been there, and he's he's been a, you know a really really good hand. For, for coach Kestutis to make uh, and play here. Well, here we go. Is this going to be a grandstand finish? It is, as it currently stands, Bristol Flyers by four. Make that six. Sanders suddenly finding a hot hand. Yeah. Eating up, he's cooking. Six unanswered points of succession. Yeah. He dumps it off to Baltianu, oh. can't finish. The ball was slipping. Marian Davoudi saved it, gets it to Ford. Defense! 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 Oh, Dombey. Cross court to Farrell. This time Ford just Love turns him. the corner, dumps it off to Daniel Adozi. No stranger to us slamming it down in this arena for sure. Well, that's an eight point ball game right there. Absolutely, that's uh, that's a dozy's 10th point in the game. You can imagine he's uh, nearing that total with rebounds. Yeah, well a long way to go. Nine minutes still to play in this uh, fourth and final quarter. What a dramatic yeah. game it's been. And in the game of basketball, 
That is an eternity. Anything can happen in the last nine minutes. Including uh, Ouch. chucking the ball into one of your teammates' faces. Exactly. Not, maybe not, by, uh, not by design, I would suggest. Might want to get his nose checked down after yeah. that one. <laughs> and there's a timeout. Timeout called. I'm, I'm guessing that there's something that uh, Mr. Mr. Coach Coach Dean Blake is, is not, not a fan. Yeah. Maybe it is that miscommunication. I think that, that might be what's leading to at the moment. They're sort of breaking down their lines of communication and yeah. not you know allowing those those hurricanes to get into those passing lanes, not being on the same page, which is something that we have seen on occasion. Then maybe not linking up as well as we have seen in, in sort of previous games. So I think all they need to do is make sure they're all on the same page. Maybe they're all on the same, you know, you know, even in the same book even. Because um, at the moment they're, they're looking a little sloppy, turnovers, um, and they're, they're running into traffic and forcing shots. So um, I, th I think it's something that they need to improve on if they're going to look to close the gap. There's a little it's bit of distraction as we saw in that first quarter, isn't yeah. it? You, know, you kind of sense there's a little bit of that happening at the moment. Yeah. And it took a timeout really to steady that ship before he knew it. They'd overturn, the, yeah. overturn that deficit. Absolutely, yeah. I think that maybe this is what Dean Blake is, is, is trying to do with this one. Um, you know, with the distraction of, of Aji out of the game now, maybe we're going to hopefully see the Wolves maybe turn it up a little bit and, uh, and get back into this one. He wasn't alone, of course, in causing distractions. Mm. Defense! 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 Too many easy looks for Bristol, really, in that uh, third quarter. I think really that's where Dean Blake most unhappy. This time, they forced to travel. And, uh, well, mind Dombe says no, but... Uh, well, he hasn't moved since, so... There it is. It's definitely not travelling there. <laughs> <that's>, uh, <laughs> He's got his feet late. That, that's right, yeah. Wanted. Just a lack of travelling at that point. <coughs> McGregor. Bartiani, Rodriguez. Ferreira with a screen. Yeah. Pick and roll action. He was open for a second there, but... Rodriguez. Rodriguez going alone. Yeah, calm as you like, right there. Six point ball game. But it's not enough. Worcester needs stops now. 8.05 yep. to play in the ball game. The crowd giving those wow. defensive cries, and Berto Ferreira gets a hand to it. And Dombe, better defense from Worcester this. Ford in the corner, steps back. Long range, two, no good. Whoa. And uh, Lucas McGregor nerfed off the ball by Ford. And uh, it was Ford who got himself into a bit of trouble early on in the game when he came on. Yeah. Seven forty-four to play. Leading language Barker drops to the corner. Tatiana's long lost cousin, I think. My distant brothers. Alex <laughs> Barker goes into uh, foul, is called. It's going to be on Sanders. First foul of the game for him. He's smart with his fouls. He knows when to pick the pockets. So now, six point ball game. Crowd, very tense in here now. This capacity crowd here in Worcester. McGregor, Rodriguez, Ferreira off the glass, doesn't go. Rodriguez is there to collect it. Can they recycle it this time? They go to Lucas McGregor for three. Got it! Lucas McGregor cometh the hour. Finds the three points for Worcester. And it has not been raining threes here tonight. Three point ball game, and you can probably hear the crowd here. And that's 960 of the Wolf Pack. Dozy now it. down low, triple team. Can he get the shot away, Cam? What a great finish from the veteran, Daniel Dozy. Wow. Not bothered by that triple team whatsoever. Suddenly, Worcester sparked into life. Yeah. Rodriguez, McGregor. Little shake and bake from him, dumps it off to Bautiana, reverses off the window, no good, Ferreira 
collects it. Goes back to Rodriguez for three. No good. Ball is loose once again. Panos, Panos Mayendombe just tidies everything up for Bristol. Bit of miscommunication with that offensive rebound there. And Berto Ferreira taking it from the hands of Matai Baltianu. Five point ball game. Oh, and that's Reese Farrell. Farrell, yeah, once again. So Worcester got to keep that pace and momentum, but they need the stops at the other end. Bristol yeah. scoring freely in transition in this period of the game. Pull up. Lucas McGregor, yeah, little pull up too. That good comes back out. They get the 14 reset. McGregor's calling the spots now. Pick and roll action here. Rodriguez needs to get the shot back. off. Deep in Straight the up. Shot for Pereira. This time it's Baltiano for three, no good. Foul. Oh, Langridge Parker, I should say. Another foul. Lucas McGregor's getting beaten up today. <laughs> he took one on the top of the head. I mean, it's a physical team, these Hurricanes. A timeout called by the Hurricanes. Well, seven point ball game, and uh, I think. Uh, yeah, Dean Blake probably be, you know. He's going he's gonna to need to. Quite happy to have a conversation with him at this stage. I'd say. Yes, absolutely. To motivate this team to keep pushing forward. They're not out of this game, absolutely. It's going to be a tough finish. There's five, just over five minutes remaining. You know, there's, there's plenty of time to get back into this. There's only seven points to climb. That's not a lot when you consider how much time is left. So you need to just make sure you're getting your stops, your rotations are there, and uh, you're finishing on the other end. Good defense creates good offense. Yeah. And they need to make sure that their transition is, is their key area. Trying to find those passes, making sure those passes are crisp and those fundamentals are in place. Well, as we said, isn't it? it relies on getting those stops, though, to create that transition exactly. play. You've got to get the stop at the other end, and particularly difficult with that little stats in front of us, but certainly in that quarter... Yeah. Bristol really doing a great job in transition, much better than Worcester, and yeah. uh, you see it on the scoreboard. I mean, what, what Worcester have been doing well, though, is funneling the the offense through to the paint, and sometimes it will land to a Daniel Adozi who can finish in those situations, but if it lands to uh, one of these lesser experienced players, then you know they, they might have those uh, the ability to stop that with a language Barker, with the Baltianu. And even an Umberto Ferreira, who is for, you know, absolutely tenacious on that defensive end. Well, there's Lucas McGregor on the line. And he is going to shoot two. Since the first of those two. And the crowd, you can cut the tension with a knife in here as he goes to put the shot up. So, Lucas McGregor, can he cut this down? So Dave's unhappy with something, but he uh, strings both of those. 18 points tonight for Mr. McGregor. Yeah, got a fine job on the stats there, Reese. Thank you. Marvellous. What do you get paid for? Ajay. You could turn your screen off and you'd know when he had the ball, right? <laughs> you, know, you thought his name was Boo. And they stripped it away. Now they get the stop. Now comes the transition for Worcester. Oh, Tiano. And uh, Dozy just wanted to give him a bit of a hug. That's yeah. all he wanted to do. <laughs> so Wolves ball. I mean, an inspiring story from Adozi, really. I mean, you know, I'm yeah. not sure how much has been mentioned. You know, I had the honour and privilege of talking to him in an sort of extended uh, bit of time, and, and his sort of his story of you know sort of being homeless in the in the projects and, and moving out, and going through his, his years in high school and becoming a professional basketball player. It's really something. Well, he's someone who has squeezed every ounce of talent. Absolutely. Great use of it. And he's not been given anything. He's worked hard for everything he's had. Um, one of the, I would say one of the most respected players in yeah, any of sure. the British basketball divisions. <laughs> Ajay. That triple doesn't go. So Wolves have another stop here. Five-point ball game. 
Lucas McGregor. Five points needed. Rosie. All over Balcianu. Language Parker. Gets it away. Tough shot. Deep in the oh, shot clock. Oh, great, great work from Humberto Ferreira. Brilliant. Balciano opts for the short range too. Good shot selection from Matei Balciano. Just find the points. Three point ball game. Three minutes and 42 seconds to play. Ken wants to get another stop. Smother. Double team if you have to. The triple teaming uh, Daniel Adozzi. This time foul is called and Daniel Adozzi is going to go to the line yeah. to shoot two. An experienced player. They're good from the line. It's not someone you do want going to the line. Natural player, Daniel Adozzi. Three points the difference. Makes the first, make that four. So Adozzi now with a chance to put this back to a five point ball game. From the stripe. He doesn't. Yeah. Four points it is, but he collects the rebound. The referee <laughs> says no. Out of bounds. Oh. So, it is going to be a Wolves ball from the end line. Three minutes, 30 to play. Five points the difference. <laughs> where's, uh, where's McGregor's support here? He's not going to do this all by himself. That's for sure. they got that full court press going on. Gregor against Sanders. Great matchup. Enjoyable one so far. Just to keep their discipline down the stretch. They've still got yeah. a couple of fouls to give. Three fouls to give. McGregor for three. No good. Ferreira once again doing a great job on the boards tonight. Humberto Ferreira. McGregor six on the shot clock now. Lucas McGregor inside to Baltianu. Baltianu. Dumps it off to Ferreira, can't finish, he's fouled. And he is going to go to the line to shoot wow. too. I mean, Balciano was screaming for the mismatch there. He had Sanders and so much size was given up there, he was screaming. Adozi was sitting there outside the, outside the paint, waiting and guarding McGregor. So I think the pass should have been made a little bit sooner and we could have maybe reaped the benefits a bit more from that wall side and that, and that possession. With that was a four-point ball game, and uh, Ferreira can't connect with the first of those two, so it stays at four right now. So Ferreira now. It's tense. Yeah. Big weight on his shoulders with this one. And there's Daniel Adozzi. <laughs> Not phased. He's a one-man boxing machine. He boxing is. out machine, I should say. More a boxing machine. He's a... Dozy Sanders for three, no good. So once again, Walls breathe. And pick up the pace. You got to press. 39 seconds. Put the pressure on. Four points. Rodriguez gets wow. his pocket pick. They save it. Rodriguez is on boy. the floor. The ball is loose. Rodriguez can't hold on to it. Farrell comes up with it for Bristol. Brilliant save there by Reese Farrell, and there was a little bit of a scrap to try and get the ball. Foul on yep. Ian Rivera Rodriguez. Foul called. Oh. It's Rodriguez on three. Point to note that that's the second team foul for the Wolves. Hurricanes already in five team fouls. Any foul going forward will send the Wolves to the line, which puts them in an ideal spot going down the stretch. Serve to a dozy. Hands off to Ajay. This time, they kick it out once again. Worcester somehow get out another get out of jail free card. And, uh, oh. oh my goodness me! Well, I think that is going to be it's going to be the end of the evening potentially. Okay. I mean, it didn't well, really help. Ajay trying to talk a little bit of trash yeah. after after the after the charge after the, the referees are having a conversation after the offensive foul. 
I mean... It's not it's not Bruce's best outing, I will say that now. No, he's not he's not covering himself in glory, not that is at for all, sure. To be honest. They keep them both in the game. Hamilton still arguing something with the referee and Ajay's decided to get involved as well. Yeah. I think if I was Ajay, uh, okay. I'd saw it just just Yeah. Keep it keep it shut, maybe. I think Adozi was trying to talk a little bit of sense to him. You know, you, you've got to listen to the vet. Yeah. Four-point ball game with 1.54 to play. The referee still trying to decide what to do by the looks of things. Yeah, well, the crowd are certainly making it known what they think. And if, uh, if the referee, unsportsmanlike foul is the call, yeah. Of course, another technical, and he would have been ejected. It's on the end of Rodriguez. So Rodriguez on four, with 1.54 to play. Wolves on 14 fouls, so nothing really to give. And four points, the difference. And uh, Ajay on the line. So Bruce Ajay lives to find another day and he goes to the line. Something terribly ironic about that really. <laughs> yeah. It has to be said, strings the first of those two. Five points of difference. And he's on four points for the night. Not the best offensive output, but he's definitely been a distraction. And he makes the second. Number five. So six points in it now Worcester they're going to need something special in the last one minute and 54 seconds of the game Sanders Farrell was trying to muscle his way inside Sanders for three I think had that gone and there he is again and uh, it's hard to know what to say really you know, it is really hard to know what to say. I think this is a young man who needs to go and have a, a bit of a sit down, really. And contemplate yeah. <laughs> the way he Just carries cool. himself, to be honest. Yeah. There's no sportsmanship there. So, 137. And that puts Ferreira on the line. Ferreira struggling from the line last time out. So we'll see what he can do from here. Humberto Ferreira. He's the first of those two. The crowd getting behind the team. Ferreira launches the second skyward. And he makes it. So, four point game. A dose in no hurry. <laughs> Sanders, Bristol going to want to take every second they can on every offense. Worcester defending for their lives here. Third place in the league at stake tonight. Sanders. Ferreira hustling for all he's worth. Sanders! Oh, my goodness me! Wow. That is a dagger three. The dagger through the heart. Samuel Sanders. A credit to this game. Vampire killer. A, sh a shining <laughs> light for sure. Triple team there. McGregor. Rodriguez in the corner for three this time. It doesn't go. McGregor can't hold on to it. A dozy has it. They ship it out to that man, Sanders, once again. Farrell to Sanders. Sanders seems to be three or four. Sanders is on the court. Last minute of the game. Farrell for three. And there it is. That's wow. got to be game right there. Absolute. Wow. A dagger. Reese Farrell. A fantastic yeah. shot in the corner. Triple. Corner three, NVA Jam special. Ten point game, they just knew how to get it done, right? Composure, that's exactly what that was there. And 
I feel like that's something that the Worcester Wolves need to need to learn. It's such a young team, and that's only going to come with time. How to carry yourself and how to how to keep that composure through the entirety of these four quarters. Uh, it's it's a battle. It's a war. These guys out here today have gone to war. Um, you know, the physicality that they've shown, uh, the passion that they, they they've shown as well. Um, it's been it's been an amazing game. It's been a tough game out there for both sides. Um, you know, but it looks like one team's going to reap the rewards, and Bristol are going to well, potentially get their tenth win of the season. And that really consolidates their uh, their third place. Pretty much, take them up to uh, 21, I believe. 21 points. So 39.6 seconds. They play out this last half minute and uh, small change of the uh, of the game. Let's not forget, we'll be here tomorrow. It's the uh, WNBL Division One. Worcester Wolves are taking on uh, Ipswich Basketball. Yeah. That's always a great fixture. Yeah. I mean, an Ipswich side last yeah. year who was so impressive, super impressive, and they are, uh, you know, they're very good this season as well. It's going to be a great game. Get yourselves down here to the University of Worcester Arena. Pack the house out once again. 960 fans here at the University of Worcester Arena. Let's do it again. Let's run it back tomorrow. Rodriguez and uh, well, Baltiano can't hold on to it. Full court press here by the Wolves. Got that down 10, 30 seconds to go. Don't really have a lot. Kick ball. Oh, Sanders. No. Nothing happening. Probably a <laughs> bit of a zero sum game at this stage in the uh, in the yeah. proceedings. 20.8 seconds are in the foul game. It's who do you foul? Exactly. Isn't it? That's always the <laughs> that's always the thing. Yeah. Well, uh, just uh, just an update to uh, the other games elsewhere. It had to be settled in overtime. Oxford and Northamptonshire. Oxford Hoops taking the win there, 101 to 100. A very close game wow. there. And uh, Oakland Wolves take the victory against Ipswich in the other game. And uh, currently live in the fourth quarter, City of Birmingham Rockets against Doncaster Eagles, 66 to 61. Rockets lead with wow. five minutes remaining. Close game. In Birmingham, 12-point game here. Rodriguez finds a three late in the game. Number 17 for Rodriguez. Lucas McGregor, <laughs> no good. Well, that would have been a that would have been a finish and a half. But uh, foul comes. 6.9 seconds, just working the clock. Was that? I mean, uh, nine points. Nine point does seem better than uh, than than double figures. That's for sure, and I think that they're, uh, uh, yeah, as much as a tough game it's been, I think that they're going to be happy with the result and the way that they've played. Well, they won't be happy with the result. They'll be happy with the way that they played. Some things they could have done better, absolutely. Uh, the, if they were a bit more lively and a bit more awake at the opening buzzer, yeah, I think we might have a different story. Well, Adozi doesn't make the first of those two. It's been, uh, it's been quite a night. He's just inviting it now, isn't he? Yeah. Rodriguez, nine seconds of the game. Uh, McGregor is just going to let it go. Skyward, and there is the final buzzer. And here in Worcester, it has finished the Bristol Hurricane 63. Worcester Wolves 53, a 10 point game. And there's so many points in that game, Reese. Well, you might have said this isn't the outcome I was expecting. No, not at all. I think the Wolves had, um, they, I mean, they, they had a, a pretty comfortable lead. Um, I thought that maybe they were going to increase that as they have done so many times this season um, and the Hurricanes they, they, they showed the resiliency they showed how good they are and they showed why they're in the top half of this of this league the top half of this division and uh, they're going to be looking uh, you know playoff wise they're going to be looking playoff you know in the distance so they're going to be hunting they're going to be looking to improve day by day game by game step by step and uh, the Wolves they can only learn from this. They're a young core, a you know, core group uh, of players uh, that are only just going to learn by by doing. Yeah. And if they keep, you know, th this loss is going to be ingrained on them. The next time that they play these Hurricanes, maybe it's going to be a different outcome. 
Who knows? Well, we'll find out, but uh, make sure you join us here tomorrow. 2 p.m. tip-off will be uh, live from a little before 2 for the WNBL Division 1 game between the Worcester Wolves and Ipswich Basketball. Make Love sure it. you join us, and until next time, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.